Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr G TV and MrMikeGarner.com talking about crises which we know if you turn on television and listen to certain news organisations all you're going to get is doom and gloom I mean, at the moment in Thailand it was 29 degrees today and I posted that so that my friends and family in the UK could um, see what winter's like in Thailand and it is winter at the moment here but it's um, quite nice but it's zero in Colwyn Bay probably something like minus one, minus two in Manchester which is where I was born so nobody's talking about climate change and um, the planet heating up in winter what they're talking about in winter is they're talking about the cold and flu season and the c-word and all sorts of uh, viruses coming back and uh, get your flu jab and get this and get that they're talking about illness and then obviously you know in summer when nobody's got a common cold then they ramp up the rhetoric about climate change because well basically in winter people get colds but they'll, they've relabeled that they've rebranded that into something to put fear into the minds of people and then in summer and it's always been hot in summer and you get forest fires and you get this that and the other um, you know in summer they can't use the the flu or, or the c word so they go for the other c word which is climate change uh, but you can't use climate change in winter because it's cold so there's no evidence of it you don't get the forest fires basically what they're doing is they're pointing out the obvious but they're relabouring it and making it almost like a crisis, a calamity, the end of the world. Now, I mean, you know, I won't go into the climate change narrative. I, I don't buy into it and I don't buy into the medical narrative, you know. Um, so look, look at war, you know, we've got, well, we had Ukraine. Um, well, we had 9-11 and all the terrorism and all the effects of that. And then we had something else, then we had something else, then we had something else. And recently we've had Ukraine and that's still bubbling isn't it but now we've got the Israel Palestine thing and it's they just can't help themselves can they you know will government the media state and church <laughs> uh, they love these religious political wars and if there isn't one they'll create one and then we've got the financial situation and we've got the immigration situation and uh, how many other situations have we got that they just love to keep throwing at us? So the situation now is we're about, what, four weeks off Christmas? If that's what you celebrate in the country where you're listening to this presentation. But I'm a British guy and Christmas, December the 25th, so we're about a month off that. And then we've got New Year, you know, start of 2024 2023 has been a real shit show hasn't it it really has in terms of news and views and you know the change in society and change in education and change in the health service and public services and global situation and i've said it so many times before but i'm going to reiterate it here just mind your own business if there's something you can do about any of this, then do something positively about it, but don't go into fear. And if there's nothing you can do about it, then get about doing something positive and don't go into fear. You know, and if you're fortunate to live in a country where there's a benefit system or welfare state or a pension system or what have you, you know, you're gonna be all right. People live very well off the state. In fact, there's a lot of people coming into this country who've not paid in, who were taken out of the state, um, and so can you. And you know, if you're not in a country that's got a good benefit system or welfare state or some sort of social security government scheme, then you know, you've probably made your own arrangements anyway, but if you're sort of like um, struggling, then you just cut your coat according to the cloth that you've got, which is a metaphor, but basically do the best you can with what you've got right now. Because a lot of things that we think are important that we have to buy, we don't. We're just told on television that we've got to have this stuff. 
and it's stuff you might want but you don't need it and you can just audit yourself which I've said before cut back and wait for happier days but don't make yourself ill and again don't go into fear so there's a lot of lessons to be learned at the moment and as I'm driving through the back streets of Hua Hin thinking about people back in my home country that are cold and maybe struggling with the weather and some of the changes in regulations that are being imposed upon them particularly in Wales 20 mile an hour roads divisive lots of other things that are divisive as well closing of banks closing of uh, public services increasing uh, interest rates increasing fuel cost increasing energy bills food shortages you know all sorts of changes going on in the education system what they're teaching our kids what they're exposing our kids to what's being taught in in schools it's all interesting let's use that word um, another word would be bullshit but I've said many times before and I'll say again to close that when the shit hits the fan turn shit into shift and make something positive out of it for yourself you know learn the lesson don't repeat the mistakes look after yourself step into your power and get people around you that are positive supportive that you respect um, and stop being a people pleaser you don't have to do anything for anybody else if you're struggling just look after yourself and when you get yourself safe and secure then maybe start to help other people it's rather like you know they tell you in an accident put your own seat belt on first put your own gas mask on first on an airplane and then tend to your children and your loved ones look after yourself so look after yourself you've been taught that being selfish is wrong but being selfish means being yourself be your best self, be authentic, be powerful, enjoy your mind and just know this, that if you need a chat, I'm here for that. Be powerful guys, have a wonderful December that's soon approaching, soon be Christmas if you live in a Christian country and whatever God you believe in, may your God be with you. Take care, God bless.